What is up everybody? Welcome to this new video of TechPress. My name is Steven and I'm going to be showing you how to do some marketing email stuff using a great tool called MailChimp. As you can see, we're already here into MailChimp.com. What I wanted to do in order to get started is actually really, but really simple to create an account. Focus into the right part, into the upper side that says start a free trial if you want to check it out. Uh, actually, we do have a free version, but in my case, I just want to log in. Here into logged in, what I want to do is to Choose the username or the email that you already have. Choose a passcode in here and to log in. All right, so once we have successfully signed it in, what I wanted to do is to check it out how the dashboard works. So as you can see into the left part, we have the create button, the huge button of create hat campaigns, automation, audience, analytics, website, content, and integrations. So um, what I wanted to do is to focus into creating our very first email so we can send this directly into our content. So in order to get started before I create some templates into emails, first of all, I wanted to start by adding my emails, my audience, so I know which I'm going to be sending with. So if you focus into the left pod, it says audience, I'm going to click in here and I'm going to click into add your contact. So whether you have an XLS file from Microsoft Excel, uh, Google Sheets, whatever, or you just need um, to have the information from a CSV file or a text TXT file, we can view this, um, let's say, manually. So we can just directly paste a new contact from a spreadsheet, a similar list. So I'm going to hit into, let's say, for example, copy paste. I hit into continue. And this is how it should be having the information to paste the contact information for the field. So we need to have the email address, the first, the last name, and the address. So if I open any tab, let's say that I wanted to create a new sheet file into Google, which I, I personally, I use a lot of Google. So in here, I just need to import my email as well as the very first name the last name, the email, oh, I mean the address, and we're actually good to go. So um, let's say for example, that I just add here, hello, or just go for uh, like this. And the first name, let's go for Tom, maybe and the address. There we go. So once I have successfully my ad here, so I'm going to copy this information, paste it in here and to continue to organize. So this one should automatically do the, um, the importing of all the information. So I'm going to hit instead, select the status. So here into the status, since all these people I've just gathered, uh, they are not subscribed into my info. I'm going to hit in here with the subscribed and here into unsubscribed or cleaned. So clean content cannot receive any type of marketing stuff. So they do not count how what is your monthly plan limit. So I can choose non subscribed it, which are able to receive ads, postcards, transaction emails, but they will be not able to receive marketing emails. So whether you choose unsubscribed or subscribed to received uh, marketing stuff. So I'm going to hit now into continue to the tag and now search for or create tag. Let's go for a uh, member. Now I'm going to hit into continue to the matched matching information. We have the email which is not recognized. I can hit into my first name, confirmed, uh, my last name once again, and hit into not recognize. Let's go for the address and continue and finalize and import. So there we go. So after that, I'm going to hit into complete my import. And now we have all our custom people, our custom audience available into our email marketing campaign. So I can, I can go into my view context and I want to make sure that all my people are now inside here. So um, just wait a few seconds here. As you can see here into the audience section, instead of having nothing, we now have email available in here. So in my case, I just have one uh, email. So I just want to use this as an example, but you can see that you can add a lot, but truly, truly a lot of people. And I can see that I have the email marketing subscribed and I have the contact rating, the source and the date added. So now I'm going to head and focus into creating to the upper side. It says create. And as you can see, we do have a lot of stuff. We, we can choose a regular email, automation, or a landing page. Since we're making some email marketing, I want to focus with something. Go into design email from a regular email. And this one, if I click here into design email, it should be sending us into the editor 
or the email builder as you might be knowing that. So you can choose the new builder or choose the classic builder. If you haven't used before the actual MailChimp, I can totally suggest you to use the new builder. If you have used this before, you might be we're going to focus into the created the, using the new builder. And now I can choose from my starting point of a template. So um, I can totally do this using an actual template from MailChimp or code or recently sent emails or save templates. So since we're just getting started, let's go for the MailChimp templates. And here, what I wanted to do is to look out for the one that I think that can be really useful or let's say important for me. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down and just wait till I find like the best uh, email template for my stuffed. In my case, I think that I just saw something truly interesting here. Don't focus into the information, just focus into the actual design because we're going to be changing that uh, a little bit later. So uh, let's say that I choose this one and we have the start free trial. So as you can see, there are a few that we can use totally for free and there are a few that we can use only as an actual trial. So what I want to do is to make sure that I have the one that says apply, otherwise this one uh, might be taking a little bit of your money. So just choose, let's say, for example, apply. And now we are now inside into the email template. So get hit into got it. And into the live part, we have all the content or the blocks that we can add, delete, or edit. So here, where it says the actual A of the logo, I can set up my own logo. And here, for example, I can just click into this element and choose, let's say, for example, center aligned. And I can just click into the element that I want to edit and replace it for a new one. So I'm going to hit into add, for example, upload an actual image. I'm getting to my downloads. Let's say that I want to use some Mickey Mouse stuff. I don't want to focus into all the elements here editing tool because this is actually just for yourselves. Just took your time, take your time to to use it as, as you are wanted to do this. So this button text, I'm going to import the actual YouTube just to make sure that it's actual this actual template is, is working. So now that I have successfully done that, I'm going to hit into save and exit. So set as default builder, right? So now um, what I want to do is to preview it or let's say we can make a test if you wanted to. Now into let's get started here where you have the actual content into the upper side says to who are we sending this campaign to? I'm going to add a recipient. I can import my contact. I'm going to click into the import my contact and I want to choose the one that we have just added. So I'm going to go and continue. Now here into edit, I'm going to hit into my audience and I'm going to choose my subscribed contact since already I have all of them added. So I'm going to hit now into save. And if you want it, you can personalize the send to the field message. So if I get into personalized, hit into the most tagged and choose the F name only. I'm going to hit now into save. There we go. And now into the contact, what I need to do is to enable the soldier card so I can choose to test, test the actual email. Hence, test it for. I'm going to choose my actual and check it out how it's going to be looking my test stuff. This is the email. It's time to design your email, blah, blah, blah. And the button text, I'm going to click here just to make sure this one took me into YouTube. So it is actually working. As you can see, guys, it is actually looking really, really great into the MailChimp. Once you have created your actual campaigns, you can go into the all campaigns so you can manage all your stuff. You can connect your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram address. So then later on, you can track how many people click into your email, how many people looked into your email or just spammed it. All the content is going to be appearing here into MailChimp. So what I just need to do is just to gather information and start to make some marketing stuff research into my MailChimp. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to check it out how to use more stuff here inside your MailChimp. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And well, with that being said, I'll see you on the next video.